Hey, what's up everyone? So today uh, we are going to fly the energy again. So it's a really beautiful weather today. Uh, we are the 22nd of January and it's like 6 degrees Celsius and it's pretty rare actually <laughs> uh, that it's that kind of weather in that period of the year. So. Today I will explain to you uh, how do I train uh, to get the correct target time and um, how to try to push myself for the um, flight times so how I know where to push my limits and how to progress correctly. So last time I showed you that sometimes I train to launch low. Today I will show you by launching normally, not full power, but normally, like 60 meters for me, um, uh, how to train for target time. This year, uh, for this season of F3K, it will be really useful because the poker, uh, by example, will be only on three targets time. So it will be like three minutes and 20 seconds uh, by time, if you do it uh, on three targets. So, yeah. It could be really useful to know how much time you can stay in the air. So today we will work about that. So I will explain to you while I warm up uh, what you can do to train to know uh, what will be average your flight times. So um, first thing first, fly as much as you can. So you can average your flight time in dead air, in medium conditions. So me, I know I can target easily for three minutes or three minutes and 30 for most of time. And uh, when it's really turbulent or really a lot of sink and thermal, this is the most complicated because it could be really short, like one minute and 40 seconds to really long, like 10 or more minutes. So today it's quite calm, as you can tell. Uh, I'm trying to circle right now, but the thermal is quite weak. Um, I don't say it's the best thermal around me, but yeah. So I just feel the air right now and I check. So there is one or two tasks that you can do to train. Uh, one of the best to train for any task, it's only one task, it's the big later. The big later is one minute, one minute and 30, two minutes, two minutes and 30, three minutes. Okay, so um, this year I, I'm, I may be wrong, but uh, it should be the big, big later. So with uh, five minutes at the end, I believe so, or one, two, three, four, I don't remember exactly. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, but I'm not sure about that. So, um, yeah, right now I will do a warm up flight. So I just launch at 60 meters, try to find a thermal, and see what time I do. So let's go for it. So, yeah, around 60 meters launch. Maybe 62, but not by much more than this. So sorry if the glider goes too far, but I need to fly normally and I usually fly quite, quite far. So for the GoPro, I will, I'm not that far right now. I'm like 100 meters, 150 meters away from me. So there is something, it's not a thermal. Why is a little hop? So, because I film in 2.7K, I will be able to zoom quite a bit. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you can still see the glider a bit, a bit at least. So, as you can tell, there is not much thermal right now. I'm playing a bit with the flaps to fill the air as much as I can while traveling straight. And uh, yeah, it's sinking. That's it. You see, all that straight line 
now I'm circling a tiny bit to do a, a turn to me, but um, I didn't found, find anything. Right now there is a tiny bit, but it's not really good. Wow, I'm stalling. So yeah, there is a tiny thermal. I'm at 146. So as you can tell, it was sinking quite bad. Right now I can battle a bit in this tiny thermal, but not a lot because I will not be able to come back then. I love this glider for this. It can come back really from really far away without any difficulties at all. It's it's just amazing for this. So um I did 2.20, so my target time should be around 2 minutes and 30. So the weather is quite calm and the sink is quite good. <laughs> or quite bad, <laughs> call it as you want. But um, yeah, with this type of launch, with, which is not high and uh, not doing really well, I will try to do 2 minutes and 30 right now. And then I will switch to the big later. Okay. Let's go. Launching about the same. Dang, that truck is noisy. Going the other side, I think it will be way easier. So, another tip. If you find one side is nasty, just go on the other side the next flight. And look, there is something right here. I hope you can see it. So I'm above the trees, near the little road. And there is something. I didn't fall that much. Or sink, I should say maybe. But yeah, it's it's not that bad. You see, one minute, so I have one minute and 30 left. And I think I will be able to do like three or four minutes, depending on of, of this thermal right here. It's climbing. Yeah, yeah, it's climbing a tiny bit, but it's climbing. So sometime like this, you just need to wait. You feel the turbulence, like something will happen, and then boom. That's it. And just circle gently until you found it really well. And then attack a bit more. Get a bit more bite into it. You see, I'm approaching two minutes. And I'm as high or higher than I launched. So, yeah, that's quite good. And because I will be able to pass really easily my target time right now, I will come back down and try again. This is how oh, you should train. It's not because you are able to do way more than you should do it. Okay, I will pass the time. So now, why go easy on me? I'm training. I, w I want to do the hardest as possible. So, uh, now, what should I do? I should go again and look for it and see if I can't find it again. But there is the but will not do that. What we'll do right now is a big later because this um, this task is really good for training for quick turns, going back to a thermal and doing increasing time. So. Let's go for 10 minutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I launched a bit more and it's only for a minute. So it's not that useful to launch that much for a minute. I agree, but yeah, should do it even. <laughs> Because if you launch too low and you catch the sink, 
it's not good. So I found something right here. I'm at 27 seconds of flight. So it's not really good. I'm sinking a bit. It's not really stable. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 7, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I need to train more. <laughs> That's not that good. So now for 1 minute and 30, I'm trying to find again the thermal I quit earlier on the 2 minutes and 30 flight. And look like it's still right here. So thermals don't move that much because there is literally no wind right now. So yeah, thermals doesn't move. Or not by much. As you can tell, I'm turning really, really flat right now because I want to expose as maximum wing area uh, to the air climbing vertically. So I need to keep my glider as flat as possible. Oh, little stall, sorry. So I'm 27 seconds uh, uh, before the, the end of this flight time. So remember, for this big glider, you don't need to uh, pass the time. You just need to go as close as possible. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm late. I'm seriously late. Like 1.5 seconds late. It's really bad. So now let's go for two minutes. Going back for the same thermal again. Uh huh, maybe a bit more on the left. It's not on the left. Yes, it is. So, as you can tell, it moved quite a bit. Maybe you can hear the oaks. <laughs> so right now it's for uh, 2 minutes and 30. Uh, no, <laughs> 2 minutes only. Not yet 2 minutes and 30. Crap. And uh, yeah, so 43 seconds left, should be fine. So I will try to find another thermal. I'm 30 seconds before um, the end of this flight. So right here look really good, look really, really good. I'm 19 seconds left. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. This one was ugly AF. <laughs> ah, that was terrible. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but I'm like 10 meters lower than the previous launch. So I'm now running for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So I hope I can do it. I'm looking for the thermal right now. I think I found it. Whoa, stalling. <laughs> this is a good sign when you stall like this for no reason because you didn't slow down that much the glider it's because you found something 
more often the sink but but uh right right now i'm not feeling that good i need to say because i didn't find the thermal on the left i'm trying to go for the trees hope to not go into the trees <laughs> Yeah, there is something right here. So, and this is why you should train to fly as smooth and as clean as possible. Because to climb as efficient as possible, uh, your glider needs to be really on the peak point of efficiency. So uh, try to pilot as smooth as possible, make it climb faster. And I am at 147 for 230. So right now I'm safe and I know where is the thermal for the next flight. So it's quite perfect actually. 30 seconds left. Should be fine right now. 20 seconds left. We'll try to do a good one. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. That was not that bad. I missed a bit the peg at the beginning, but I was able to put my my fingers correctly after a few tens of seconds so now i'm going straight back to the thermal i found on the last flight on the previous one hope to find it yep got it so now should be quite easy i hope so so this is all i train for the competition this is how I train, and uh, at least there, in, there is one way. And uh, I think, you, you may think, but why do I give out all, all my secrets like this? Uh, because I think there is no secrets. Uh, you, sh you are at contest to perform as good as you can. There is no secrets to keep. Uh, I feel like everybody is so good today that it's not because I say something that they will be even better. I think everyone knows that. And it's only a bit training tools, but that's not as important as um, the strategy and everything like this. And be able to adapt as quick as possible in contest condition. So right now, as you can tell, I lost a bit of altitude because the thermal was not uh, was like a bubble uh, and uh, it, it was no no anymore there when uh, I tried to catch it so it was the lowest part and now I feel like I got something again I have two minutes left uh, no one minute left to do so should be plenty it's funny because I, I hear when I talk in English, sometimes I take an English accent, sometimes I take an American accent, sometimes a really French accent. So it's, it's quite funny. I think it's quite funny for you to, to hear about that. So 30 seconds left. So my radio will calm down. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how much did I lost because I caught a bit late one time, a bit early one other time, so my radio can't do the calculation itself. But yeah, it was quite good, I think. I managed to do all the target times. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. So thank you a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video. And uh, this year in 2020, I will really try to do way more videos than last year about F3K. So thank you for all of you who stayed su subscribed last year. Uh, it means really a lot to me. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.